so more accurately to both true Christians, a true Messianic believers, and even true Rastafari brethren and sistren of true Messianic disciples of the New Covenant. Uh, an accurate interpretation of Revelations is the sixth trumpet is when Antichrist comes to deceive the nations into thinking that he's going to fly them away in the sky as the true Messiah or true Savior as opposed to the true Messiah or our actual true Lord and Savior Yeshua, Jesus Christ, you know, being revealed in his glory. You know, some refer to the second coming, others as the third coming as the true King of Kings being revealed to the world in his glory after the deception of, of the Antichrist and, and the mark of the beast. After Satan himself as Antichrist deceives the majority of non-believers. The majority of non-believers and even so-called Christians who have the mark of the beast. And who do not have the true seal of the Most High Yahweh Jah. That is the seal of Yahweh Yeshua or Yahweh Jah Rastafari upon their foreheads or in their mind or heart. Uh, but those in their heart and in their mind have the mark of the beast. You know, 666. That's the six vial, six seal, and six trumpet. You know, being deceived by the Antichrist himself. So just remember, the number six comes before seven. Seven, the divine number of Almighty God and completion or perfection. And remember the true Messiah himself in that first advent, Yeshua, said, beware of self-deceit. So on the actual day of the actual second or some say third or fourth coming of the true Christ, of the Messiah, uh, many will say, Lord, you know, those, even those who were caught up in the mark of the beast, just like the agnostics and atheists and non-believers and just like the majority of pagans on the earth, the so-called hypocristians will come to the Messiah saying, Lord, did we not, uh, did we not prophesy in your name and perform many great miracles in your name? And the Messiah himself will say, I do not know you, you know, so that's a warning against self-deceit and actual teaching of the true Christ in the gospel um, of Yeshua. But, Nation. So who's to say that the Antichrist himself, or the actual false Messiah, being Satan himself, or Satan himself incarnate, you know, remembering that he is a individual being of cosmic powers, of supernatural powers, who's to say he could not come first in the form of a modern so-called mortal man or even a politician? I'll say it again. Who's to say even if the Antichrist or the false messiah himself being Satan himself or a major advocate of Satan himself will come first as a mortal man pretending to be a mortal man and even a politician. So why is the modern day politician glorified as opposed to the true king of kings or the true black king in his glory? The imperial majesty, the one who actually saved the world, you know, from that corrupt dragon serpent cult back in is World the War II. Is waiting to receive the imperial couple. The stone that the builder rejects shall be the headquarters stone. It is good that you are here to record this picture of me in my palace garden at Addis Ababa. People who see this throughout the world will realize that even in the 20th century, with faith, courage, and a just cause, David will still beat Goliath. Selah.